underneath the loose floor panel, which I've been trying to figure out how to get into this place since last episode. Underneath the loose floor panel is a slightly dirty key card for room A2. Yes. Um, what the hell is that? Nioka. I am a sword. Uh, I don't think it's dead, but let me check just to be sure. Mucus like discharge from a parasite. Oh no, he's dead. Analysis confirms this is Evan O'Connell. Yeah. Analysis also confirms he is dead. Wow, what the hell? Her additional study of this body's skeletal structure, the cause of death was head trauma. Head trauma? Further analysis indicates Evan's fatal injuries were sustained from blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, and his head collided with the ground. Okay, so he took a bad fall and cracked his head open. Was it an accident? There are traces of blood on Evan's hands, Inspector. Whose blood? Analysis concludes this blood is human, type A. Medical records indicate Evan O'Connell's blood is type O. Sounds like he cut himself on someone else. It is else. highly likely the blood is the result of an altercation. I think it's time we talk to Miss Stillwell. If you wish to question Amelia Stillwell, Slug's scheduling records indicate that she is presently on duty at the pilot house checkpoint. Wow, Simudio. Uh... That sucks. He's dead. Dead as hell. Alright, well, I want to take these, but at the same time, I don't want to steal them, so... Let's on, let's, uh, let's jet. Right behind me, these guys are actually going insane, and this is crazy, and Amelia is just standing there seeing all this, and she's not doing anything, so suspicious. Non-slug personnel aren't permitted on the pilot house. Can I help you with something? I need to ask you some questions regarding your co-workers. Evan O'Connell? Sure. He in trouble or something? I'm afraid he's dead. You're kidding! Evan's dead? That doesn't... I don't understand. Can, uh... Can I ask what happened? You tell me. You're the one who took him to A2. Because he got drunk on the job. He was supposed to haul crates with me, but he was sauced. So I took him to the hotel to sleep it off. Left him on one of the beds in A2. He seemed fine. Hmm. Right. Right. Bullshit. You killed him when you got to A2, didn't no. you? Why the hell would you even think that? Because of the blood I found, there was a fight in A2, right? Well, shit. You really are an inspector, aren't you? I walked Evan to A2, like I said, and then, out of nowhere, he just came at me. One minute, he's laughing and yelling about sharing his joy, and the next, he's choking the life out of me. Grinned the whole time he was trying to kill me, too. How'd you get away? Dumb luck, I guess. I got a good hit in, threw him off, and ran like hell. If I'd known the fall killed him, I... Well, I don't know. I should have told someone. I got a few more questions. What do you want to know? Why didn't you tell anyone Evan attacked you? Because Evan would never attack anyone. I barely believe he attacked me, and I was there. Guess it shook me up pretty good. Evan's always been a total sweetheart. I don't get it. 
I found slugs in Evan's body, big ones. Any idea what that's about? I can't help you there. If Evan was a victim in all of this, we owe it to him to find out what happened. Have you been to Purpleberry Orchards, Inspector? Awfully nice out there. You should visit. What are you? Oh. Well, think it over. How are you opening up? I don't know. The whole thing shook me up something fierce, but I'm still here. I'm upset. Angry at Evan. Sad about him being, you know, scared folks won't believe me. I'm not much for math, so I couldn't tell you how that averages out. But thanks for asking. That's everything I need to know. So, what happens now, Inspector? I'm not here to get you in trouble. I just want to untangle this web. Fair enough. I just wish I could understand why he did what he did. Evan is... He was my friend. Or I thought he was. I don't know. I hope you're able to make more sense of this than I can, Inspector. Alright, well, being that she was the one who did this, let's go ahead and report back to <laughs> Lily Vargas. Yo, these guys, they're not, unfortunately, they're not tweaking, it's just the slugs in their necks, like... It's insane. Alright, so let me see. Is there a way for me to get to here? Yeah? Wait, is she really upstairs? Nah, she can't be. I guess she is. Alright, let's head on in. Okay, there you are. Inspector, you find my missing man? I found O'Connor. He's dead. Shit. That's fucking inconvenient. What happened? He attacked Emilia Stilwell, who unintentionally killed him in self-defense. Oh, shit. I, I gotta tell you, Evan's never been written up for so much as an impolite look. He attacked her? You sure? I'm... Um... Well, that's her story anyway. Don't know if I buy it. Huh. Sounds like the constable should look into this one. I'll have her bring Amelia in for questioning. Thanks for chasing Evan down and saving me some leg work. Of course, now I gotta figure out who the fuck's replacing Evan. A new day, a new pain in my ass. So, this place was locked earlier. I did manage to go around, climbed up this ladder, which led me to an open roof which is over here so i jumped on in and now i am here and i think i found a clue evan remember cards tonight if you don't show i'll set a raptodon loose in here with you i'm kidding but don't forget you hear i need help knocking b down or wrong or three she's had me writing field reports for her all week Botanical Operations Building. Cards. Tonight. Okay, so... I don't think there's any way for me to... Open up this place. I mean... Is there? I'm trying to go see the... Prophet of Probability, but... I don't know. I feel like, at the time being, it's not... Not yet the time to see her, so in that case... I'm going to head to... Administrator Ludofiso And tell him what I found so far. Maybe then he'll be able to help me get across from here to go talk to the... Prophet of Probability. What floor would you like to visit? Um, 
I like to visit. Well, where should I go? I like to visit the VAP guest floor. Oh, so sorry, but you're not actually authorized to visit that floor. What authorized floor can I bring you to? So then, why would you give me that as an option? I hate this game. Okay, bring me to the penthouse suite. Next stop, the finest seat in the house. Okay, I'm here. I'm home finally after a long, hard couple of episodes. Wait, what? Captain, there's someone in your room. I was going to forcibly show him the error of his ways, but I thought you may wish to do the honors. Huh, interesting. Interesting. Everything's so soft and silky and expensive. Oh gosh, I hope I don't get any grease stains on the front. Who the oh, fuck are you? Sweet shimmering law. Where'd you come from? Sorry, uh, let me just get back in character. Whoa, 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 it's not what it looks like. Huh. Wow. Pretty sure it looks like Rizzo's mascot is in my room, going through my things. Looks can be deceiving, friend. For example, what looks like misappropriation may, in fact, be a misunderstanding. I seem to have wandered into the wrong premises. I have mistaken this penthouse for the Rizzo's Ranger's locker room on account of my headgear cutting off my peripheral vision. Hmm. I'm not going to hurt you. Just relax and tell me what you're up to. Fair enough. You seem pretty decent. Also, you're guarding the only way out. I am acting on behalf of Mr. Black Hole Birdie, the Holemeister, the Hack Attack. I don't have a lot of time, but Mr. Birdie sent me to retrieve a message. Something he recorded for Ms. Bellamy while he was off his kilter. Mmm. You're out of luck. I found it already. It's pretty incriminating. You found the recording? Oh, well, that's just... That's just sweeter than a fistful of purple berry punch. <laughs> oh, law, Birdie's gonna slaughter me like a woolly cow. Will you meet me later, over at the pilot house? I swear, from the bottom of my employment contract, I will tell you everything I know about Ms. Bellamy's demise. Hmm. Tell me what you know, or they'll have to rinse your remains out of that mascot outfit. I... what? But I don't... Mm -hmm. I can't? Mm -hmm. Please mm -hmm. don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. Not here. I'm sorry. The pilot house complex. Meet me there, and I'll tell you everything, I swear. Look at him running away. Like a fucking pansy. Pathetic. And the fact that he was going through everything. Look at this. I mean, cool, I got some free stuff out of it, but still. The fact that he was going through all my shit. Hmm. Alright, let me just report this to the administrator. I understand there was an incident at the orchards. The pollination cycle began without my authorization. Fortunately, you managed to save most of the hive. The waspquitos are essential to the orchards, you see. Losing them would have cost us months of production. And more than a few lives, that doesn't bother you? The orchards can be a dangerous place, but my workers understand the hazards. Something about this incident troubles me. The circumstances are... suspicious. But let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Have you discovered anything? The plot think... sorry. <laughs> the plot thickens, administrator. You have my attention. So, Mr. Blossom is dead, murdered by an unknown killer. That's deeply upsetting. Dr. Leora Blossom was an extraordinary scientist and a friend. We have a murderer on the loose, Inspector. As if the death of Halcyon Helen wasn't enough of a blow to our facility. She was in trouble when I found her. The other workers had turned violent. 
Her commitment to her NDA was admirable. I'll make sure to accelerate the payout of her death benefits to her next of kin. All I know is she recognized the killer. Interesting. The Rizzo's family is a small family, Inspector. Most of us recognize one another. Still, any information is good information. It troubles me to believe Leora could have been murdered by one of our own. If there's anything else you'd like to share, you have my attention. Helen insisted on touring the Rizzo's RR&D lab. Insisted? That's interesting. We'd scheduled a tour of the lab for Helen. Purely a public relations event to be held sometime in the indeterminate future. Then again, Helen and I were not well acquainted. I can't speak to her intentions. What were you going to show her during the tour? A uh, little of consequence. We'd tour the grounds, pause at some locations appropriate for a portrait, let her shake hands with our scientists, public relations. Huh, well, she spent a little time at the orchards. I found evidence she was at a picnic. A picnic? I don't recall approving a private social gathering at the orchards. I'll have to make a note of this information. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Was there anything else? Someone stole data from one of your terminals in research and development. Uh, that's troubling, to say the least. Any transfer of proprietary data is strictly prohibited without my permission. You can't steal that much data without an expensive cartilage. Our thief had resources. A clever deduction, Inspector. That gives us a little information to work with. This happened just before the West Beetle attack. Someone was trying to stop me. Yes, I share your suspicions. Someone didn't want you following their trail. This feels like more than corporate espionage. Someone's playing with us, Inspector. And I have never in my life enjoyed games. Did you discover anything else? I'll let you know if I learn anything else. This incident at the orchards must be connected to Helen's murder somehow. I don't know how, but I feel it in my marrow. My apologies, Inspector. This case is under your jurisdiction, not mine. I leave it in your hands. When you're ready, I suggest a word with the hotel coroner. She should have finished her autopsy by now. Hey, why was there a suspicious-looking mascot in my room? Why was there a suspicious-looking mascot in your room? I'm afraid I don't understand. Is this the lead-up to a joke? There was a Rizzo's mascot poking around in my room. I like to know why. I don't know why there was a mascot in your room. The Grand Colonial doesn't offer that kind of room service, I think. Hmm. He had some pretty interesting, well, he had some pretty interesting things to say about Black Hole Birdie. Uh, such as? Uh, Bertie convinced him to break into my room. You didn't know about this? I most certainly did not. My policy toward Eridanos is one of, shall we say, benign negligence. I keep my distance and don't involve myself unless necessary. In any case, let me apologize for this unfortunate business. I'm sure this mascot meant no harm. I'll take your word for it. Was there anything else? I'll be back. What floor would you like to visit? I would like to go to the lobby, please. To the lobby we go! And I'll take these two, my favorite companions, so let's head on out. Okay, so I'm going to go to the doctor to see what information she has for me about the autopsy. That way we can have a lot more details as to what really happened with Halcyon Helen here. Ooh. That's her. Inspector, not a moment too soon. I've just finished my autopsy report. You, let's hear it. Ruth Bellamy was killed by plasma damage to the upper vertebrae, the occipital bone, and the cerebellum. 
If it's any consolation, her death was instantaneous and painless. I've also discovered a poisonous compound in Miss Bellamy's stomach lining ingested during her last meal. Toxic, but not enough to kill her. Spencer Woolrich complained of a stomach ailment around the same time period. I assumed he was being, you know, Spencer. But now I'm not so sure. Someone was obviously trying to poison Helen. Almost certainly. Well, possibly they were trying to make her extremely uncomfortable, but I suppose killing her would also satisfy that criterion. I should go speak with Spencer then. Conversations with Mr. Woolrich tend to spontaneously transform into monologues. You'll find him on the VIP guest floor. I'd best return to work, Inspector. Autopsies always whet my appetite, and all this talk of food is distracting me. I'll be back. She reminds me of a co-worker at work. Not the one I have a crush on. It's a different co-worker. But yes, at this point, I would need access to the VIP room. So let me ask uh, Halston here. The Grand Colonial Front Desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. It's a pleasure to see you again. How may I be of assistance to you, Inspector? I need access to the VIP guest floor. I'd love to, Inspector, but I don't really have the authority. What? Moreover, the guests were promised exclusivity. If I let you up there, I'll never hear the end of it. The only guest who have a problem with me being up there would be the murderer. Hmm, that's a good point. If they give me guff, I can just tell them that they're obstructing justice. That has a nice ring to it. Let me just set you up with VIP guest floor access. Done. You can now come and go as you please. Goodbye. All right. I definitely now I can definitely check what out. Would you like to visit? I like to visit the VIP guest floor. If you see Black Hole Birdie, be sure to get an autograph for me. Oh, just joking. I've already got one. Nice. I am in a VIP guest room. Pretty nice. All right, so where is he? Here? Huh. Spencer. Spencer. About time you arrived. I see you haven't dressed the way I asked you to. But Excuse I suppose me? I was expecting too much of a non-industry lout. Expect a complaint to management now. Unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing. Ready? <coughs> You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. Hmm. Um, well, wait, what should I... Damn, I don't even have enough charm. Uh, you'll never take over a house, you new fiend. How does the scenery taste? Good, I trust. Uh, wait a moment. You're not wearing a bellhop's ID. Which nice. Which means you're not Owen's understudy. That man can't even be relied upon to find his own replacement. Oh, no, this is curious indeed. Who are you? And how did you get in here? I'm here to investigate the murder of Halcyon Helen. I'd to ask a few questions. You're here to investigate me? That's why I said. Oh, I assure you, I'm nothing special. Just an old crook with more money than time. That was a quote from the retiree's revenge in which I played an ex-thief turned decrepit old man. But, uh, of course, I'm certain you already recognized it. Now, what shall I sign first? Your weapon? Your wallet? Or perhaps something uh, a little more personal? Undergarment signatures have been popular of late, or so I've heard. Under what? I'm not here to, I'm not here for an autograph. I'm here to ask you some questions. Do you mean to say you're not a fan? No. Well, then how did you get in here? The only staffer cleared for guest room entry is the inspector for Bellamy's murder. Oh, 
Oh, <clears throat> hello. Do you derive some kind of pleasure from wasting people's time? Terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. I understand that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Back when I starred in the Marauder's Bane, the absolute picture of justice. Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight answer. I hear you were poisoned. Indeed. The agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. Can you think of anyone other than the chef who would want to harm you? None that I can think of. I treat all hotel staff equally, and with the minimum level of respect that they deserve. Yeah, I could see why you were poisoned, fucking jerk. Um, why didn't you go to the clinic for your stomach pain? Is that a jibe? Could you imagine the tabloid headlines? Spencer Woolrich, Aether Wave star, spotted in gastronomic distress. Oh, unseemly hardly describes the half of it. According to the coroner, Helen was also poisoned. How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here before you. Helen wasn't killed by the poison. Oh, oh, that's very good to know. Perhaps the poisoner simply meant to incapacitate us both, uh, disrupt the product launch. I, I couldn't say, Inspector. I'm merely an actor. That's all I wanted to know. Very well, then. I'd like to ask you about the murderer. Certainly. But one quick question before we begin, if I may. How was it that Bellamy met her end? Why are you so curious? Why, I'm merely worried for my own sake. Perhaps whoever came after her could come after me next. But if you don't want to tell me, I understand. Whatever happened, I hope poor Bellamy didn't suffer. Okay, well, what were you up to at the time of the murder? I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. Got anybody who can corroborate that? Respectfully, Inspector. It is rather counterproductive to commune with others while meditating. You are meditating, really? All actors have their methods, and this has been mine ever since I met that wonderful prophet of profitability. She taught me it for my role in The Unemployed Cometh. I had to lie face down on artificially heated pavement the director wanted our suffering to be convincing. Needless to say, being able to leave my body helped to mitigate the pain, both during the eight-hour shoot and with the second-degree burns afterwards. I owe that woman much. How long have you worked with the Prophet? Yeah, actually, only since I've been at the Colonial. The unemployed Cometh was shot on sight. That makes it, um, a few weeks. I cannot recommend her services enough. If you haven't been to see her yet, you really should. Okay, back to my other questions. I'll answer whatever you wish. Did you know Helen well? Bellamy has been my co-star throughout the autumn of my career. I should like to think I knew her. 
In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. Unless you count the uncredited silent shopkeep on Melissa's meteoroids. Hmm. Why did you keep star- Sorry, why did you keep starring alongside her? I'm not too proud to admit it. I couldn't get work on my own. Whether or not I wanted to accept it, Bellamy had captured the eye of the colony. People kept talking about the charisma we had on screen, but I felt more chemistry with certain teacup canids than with her. As you may have been able to conclude, I wasn't terribly enamored with Bellamy, but that doesn't mean I'd kill her. All right. Speaking theoretically, how would you have killed the victim? Oh, come now, Inspector. What do you take me for? I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. Enough about that. Back to my other question. I suppose that is enough on that grim subject. Hmm. Triggered. I got a few more questions to ask you about that poisoning. Oh, must I relive that ghastly event again? My intestines still have yet to fully recover. But I suppose we may discuss it further. Okay, so all of the questions have been answered, so that's all I wanted Very to know. Very well, then. Who are you exactly? I'm sure you're joking. I'm not. Perhaps I'm not in my prime, but you've no doubt seen the name Spencer Woolrich on many a serial advertisement throughout your travels. Never heard of you. <laughs> that can't be. You must just not remember. Or perhaps you only recognize my characters, not my name. Did you ever see me in the Masked Marketeer? Uh, the Busker of Byzantium? Uh, what about episodes 13 and 190 of Princess of Hephaestus? And who could forget from Halcyon with love? I was great in that movie. Even if I was starring beside a two-ton bucket of bolts and a woman with no talent. Busker of Byzantium? Helen wrote a B to implicate her killer before she died. I think that's a bit of a stretch, don't you? If you're going to come after me, I expect evidence. Unless you want to be smacked with litigation. Smacked! Hmm. Goodbye. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.